All right, so it started to rain. I was trying to get uh, some of those deer that were back over there. If she noticed, one of them was limping. I wish I could do something for it, but it won't let me get close enough to it. But the family of deer that's stuck in this, well, I wouldn't say stuck, but they live in this city park right here by the lake. And uh, it's raining, foggy as heck, so the quality, the quality of the video is probably pretty crappy but uh it's pretty cool to see that they you know they still survive and surrounding this park right here so anyhow then go back to the house and talk to you about a little bit of tackle prep we'll see you in a bit all right so we are back here at the house and i want to show you something that i got real quick that i haven't shown you i have uh had it for about a week or so and just have not had the time or had it, had, just haven't had a chance to show you. So let's go out back and I'm going to show you something that I got that's really cool for me and hopefully will get me out to catch some more fish pretty soon. So let's go out back and let me show you what I got. This is what I got. It's ugly. Needs a little bit of work. A little TLC. As you can see, it's holding water in there a little bit from the rain. I think they have a leak. They have a leak right there. All right, so we got a John boat. Needs a little bit of work. Needs a little bit of TLC, as you can see. I've got it propped upright, so I could do a little bit of leak testing, and I figured it's literally rained for three days now. I mean, no BS. It has literally rained in North Texas for three days, and uh, it's it's been kind of crazy. So. I thought, why not flip the boat upright and let it fill up with rainwater instead of using my running my water bill up to fill it with water to leak test it. So I did that. I know I've got a couple leaks, so I've got a couple spots to fix. I need to sand it down, clean it up, fix a couple leaking spots, and then I need to put some paint on it. So a little bit of a project. Actually, kind of looking forward to it. Pretty excited. We'll get that done so I can get out on the water and actually maybe catch some bigger fish and uh, have a little more fun. So look forward to some videos about that. I will be doing some how-tos and uh, sharing my experience along the way with the uh, project with the John boat. So look, really looking forward to that and uh, really looking forward to get out on the water. That'd be cool to you know, get off my feet and get out and fish in the old, little old John boat for a change. So anyhow, let's get into some tackle prep. I want to show you some tackle prep just, you know, if you're going out on a, uh, on a, uh, a, a trip or if you're going out to the lake or if you're fishing a tournament whatever the case may be I want to start a little bit of a series it's probably going to be a two or three video series on how I do my prep to get ready for a tournament or how I get ready for you know any kind of you know fishing adventure on a uh, general day so like I said we'll have probably two or three videos about that I'm going to go over some rod reel line prep type stuff and then we will also do a rundown of, you know, tackle, what to tie on rods, reels, what to, what to bring, what not to bring, stuff like that. So let's get into this. All right, so let's talk about some tackle prep. One of the things that I do, this is just me, myself, it doesn't mean it may be the right way 100% or it's the professional way of doing things 100%. This is just what I do myself, and it works for me. The beginning of every year, I'll take my rod and get a little bottle of rubbing alcohol, okay? I get a couple of Q-tips. What I'm going to do is take the lid off this bottle of rubbing alcohol. And dip my Q-tip in there until I get it good and wet. Take my rod right here. You can't fit it through the 
top eyelet. Just clean both the ends. those eyelets. They actually make a smaller type of Q-tip for this and I can't think of the name of it. But you want your eyelids to be clean. You want them to be clear of any kind of debris, anything that's going to make friction. Now if I was to run this Q-tip say up through this eyelet and it, yunked, and it yanked a chunk of cotton off that q-tip that means the inside of that eyelet either has a fray or a break in it and what is it going to do if it tears that cotton up it's going to rub against your line and cause friction and it's going to break your line so that is why I go through and clean all my eyelets out on each one of my rods Usually every year this time of the year when it's freezing cold and of course raining like it has been here for three days so I you know really can't get out too much. Alright we got all of our eyelets. So I've cleaned all my eyelets out. So that's all I've got for tackle prep for today guys. I really just wanted to show you what I do at the beginning of the year when it's cold it's icy out or you just can't get out and fish. That's number one is to clean my rods. I take a Q-tip through all my eyelids, run down through it, clean it, and I didn't show you, but I also take a paper towel or a, a towel of some sort without it that doesn't have a bunch of length on it, and I put a little rubbing alcohol on it, and I'll rub it down my rod in between the eyelids, and I'll clean it real good. As far as reels, there, there are many, many guys out there that can show you how to clean your reels. I'm not that person. I'm not going to even attempt to show you. I actually send my reels to a guy locally that I have for literally over 20 years that I trust and he's done me very well and uh, I let him do it. It doesn't cost me much. I don't have to worry about losing parts or messing something up and not having a reel back together. I'm just, that's not my thing. I'm not going to do it. So I send them to a guy. So I feel more comfortable sending them to him because that's pretty much what he's done for many years and I trust him and I'm confident in the work he does and he's been very reliable and done great work for me so that's why I don't clean up my reels myself but beginning of the year tackle prep for the season clean your eyelets on your rods clean down your reels I'll even take my rod my reels off my rods and clean around the seats all the seats sometimes I'll clean them real well send my reels off to my guy to have them cleaned and get them good and clean and prep for the year. That way I'm good to go the rest of the year. All I got to do is fish pretty much and I don't have any issues. So that's my tackle prep for today guys. Hope you liked the video. I will be going more in depth on how I actually do tackle prep for tournaments and for fishing for the year. I will be doing a video about terminal tackle what I do myself that helps me and hopefully some tips that will help you and I will get into a little bit of you know prep with what I do with rods and reels what I tie don't tie if I'm going to fish a tournament or if I'm going out for an important day fishing so stay tuned for that guys great things coming up also I have a really great fishing trip coming up that I don't want to spoil yet but will be pretty soon so Y'all be watching the right video, do me a favor, leave me a comment in the comments below. Tell me what you think, like, dislike, I, like, I want to hear it all. I do have a trip planned, we'll be going somewhere very special to fish, and I'm hoping to, uh, hoping to get out there and catch some hogs and share that video with you pretty soon. So, lots of great things coming guys, make sure you stay tuned. Do me a favor, if you like some more tackle tips, leave me a comment in the comment below. So anyhow guys, as always, if you're new to my channel, Make sure you smash that subscribe button below. Check out some of my other videos. If you like this video, as always, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.